Welcome, everybody. Uh, you know, this is uh, it's a good day. Uh, we were talking earlier. Anytime we can uh, announce good jobs, uh, it's a good day for Arkansas. And uh, we're very, very fortunate to be able to do that again today. And frankly, in a region of the state where we haven't been able to announce a ton of uh, new good jobs. Uh, we, Mark and I were just talking. I said, you know, Northeast Arkansas, it seems like every time you're talking about it, uh, some expanded business or economic growth, it's Jonesboro or Paragould or, or that area up there because that's such a dynamic place. It's growing so fast. And so uh, when we can talk about Corning and when we can talk about uh, Pocahontas and we can talk about Randolph County and we can talk about Clay County and all those other areas, those are hardworking people who live in an area of the state that, uh, that I grew up in, the Northeast Arkansas uh, corridor up there. So uh, it's, uh, it's gratifying, I think, to see. Uh, and then, of course, PICO's had a presence now in Batesville. So they're, they understand the work ethic of those folks, and uh, they know how good those folks are in terms of employees. Uh, so we're extremely uh, happy. I'm not going to say anything more about it right now because I want Mark Hickman uh, to be able to come forward uh, to talk to you. He's the boss. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, give an Arkansas welcome to Mark Hickman, Pico. Got to get my glasses out. <laughs> On behalf of the Pico Foods team, I want to thank you, Governor Beebe, for hosting us here today. Your administration is doing a tremendous job of creating new jobs and growing the economy here in Arkansas, and we are proud to partner with you in those efforts. For those of you who may not be familiar with us, Pico Foods has a long history, and we know the chicken industry from top to bottom. The company, which is family owned, was founded in the 1930s. We are a premier jumbo bird company supplying many boneless products to national restaurant chain accounts, retail uh, food service distributors, and retail grocers. From day one, our mission has been to be a competitive producer of quality products, maintaining respectful business relationships with social, social and fiscal responsibility. Those values are embedded in everything that we do. Our senior management team has earned a reputation as being among the best in the business. Several of our key executives are with me here today on the right, and they uh, represent many decades of, of experience in the industry. That depth also extends through the ranks of our facility managers and our supervisory management. Their bench strength has, a, has given our company a strong competitive advantage. In addition to our complexes, in Alabama and Mississippi, we value greatly our growing presence here in Arkansas. Our association dates back to 2011 when we acquired the assets of the uh, Townsend's facilities in Batesville and Newark. We have made a significant investment in that complex and the results are surpassing our expectations. By every measure, Arkansas is a great place to do business. You have an outstanding workforce that shares the goals and values of our company. Access to a strong pool of employees became a primary driver behind our decision to expand our holdings here in the state. This morning, we're extremely pleased to announce our major expansion project, which will be locate, where we will locate a fully integrated poultry complex in the counties of Clay and Randolph. Our company will invest $165 million in this project. It will include a feed mill, hatchery, and processing facility. We will also bring about 1,000 new jobs to northeast Arkansas. Construction will begin in two phases. We will break ground at, on the feed mill at the Corning site next month, and with groundbreaking occurring at the Pocahontas site for the processing plant and hatchery in July. Once the site preparations are completed, the timeline for construction, we will need 12 months for the hatchery, we will need 18 months to get our feed mill up and running, and we will need about 16 months to get the processing plant up and running. One of the most important aspects of this 
uh, new complex is that it will uh, allow us to expand our rapidly growing niche as a preferred supplier of raw poultry commodity meats for value added national accounts. That strategy is a key aspect of our growth going forward. In addition to the 1,000 jobs that this project will create, we will bring new business to grain farmers and chicken growers throughout the area. A plant of this size will require approximately 640 broiler, pullet, and breeder houses. That translates to more than 90 independent farmers who will raise poultry and supply us with market age chickens. Our grain needs for this complex will be extensive. We will need approximately 339,000 bushels of corn and 2,400 tons of soy meal on a weekly basis. It's very important to us that we are helping farmers increase their income and better provi provide for their families. We believe it's a win-win situation all around. There's another exciting aspect of this project that I want to touch on very briefly. We will incorporate state-of-the-art wastewater treatment facilities and protein conversion facilities at this complex, both with the latest in technology. Historically, one of the biggest challenges facing our industry is the treatment of wastewater and the conversion of byproducts in a manner that is environmentally appropriate as well as cost effective. In keeping with our commitment to protect the environment, we believe that the systems that will be in place will be models for the industry. By every measure, this is a landmark project for our company, both capital intensive and meticulously planned. I want to thank all of you who have played a critical role in making this project a reality, as well as the citizens of Clay and Randolph counties who have welcomed us with open arms. I want to acknowledge the hard work of everyone involved in this project. There are so many of you in this room who have played a vital role at the local, regional, and state levels. And this would not be possible without the support of our financial lenders syndicate. We are most appreciative of your support and cooperation. And Governor Beebe, we look forward to a long and very successful partnership in this great state of Arkansas. Thank you, and that concludes my formal remarks. I'm not going to take credit for this, but Mark, one of your senior management people mentioned when you were talking about the weekly consumption of uh, soybean meal and corn, that that's not chicken feed. <laughs> I guess it is chicken feed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, a partner in all this is Chris, Ma where's Chris? Chris Massengill with the uh, Delta Regional Authority. Chris, come up for a few brief remarks. Good morning. Mark, thank you very much again. And let me say congratulations to Northeast Arkansas. This expansion of PICO, and PICO is no stranger to the Delta Regional Authority. You've got a footprint in a significant part of the Delta Regional Authority landscape in Alabama and Mississippi and in here, of course, in Arkansas. So we appreciate this opportunity to be a part of this project. DRA is excited to be a part of this project. And so I want to congratulate the local leadership, the state leadership, and of course, the hard work of AEDC governor and your team to make this a reality. This, this expansion is truly another vote of confidence that we've got the right workforce, we've got the right infrastructure, and we've got the right business environment in Arkansas, in the Delta region, to continue to make an impact on our local economies. So congratulations, and we're excited to be a partner. Thank you, Mark. Mark, on behalf of the people of Arkansas, we appreciate your confidence uh, in us, and we look forward to being partners uh, for, as you indicated, many, many years to come. Questions? Comments? Arguments? Mr. Hickman, how many folks will you guys employ once the 1,000 jobs are added? What will be your total company-wide employment? Our employment will be approximately 6,000. Can you say, share what some of those national <coughs> accounts are that you guys do business with? Uh, well, Walmart is one of our accounts. We supply them individually frozen chicken products. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings is one of our largest accounts. Uh, we supply their uh, far fry products. 
What's the average wages for these jobs? At the processing plant, the average wage will be, uh, at one year, will be $10.86 roughly, uh, plus benefits, which will be another 30% on top of that. At our feed mill, the wages will be $13 an hour at one year, plus 30% in benefits. Certainly. <laughs> He's a radio guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I do care what you say. Uh, would, you, would you repeat the last part about Walmart before we uh, Well, we do supply Walmart with their uh, private label, uh, great value brand um, in some of their stores, not all of them, uh, individually frozen pro uh, IF product. And what were the, Bone the major factors involved in your choosing these locations? Uh, employment and the uh, grain farmers as well as uh, the rural area to where we can you know have a complex on one or two sites and a great governor <laughs> <laughs> I think I was remiss on that one wasn't I? <laughs> I'm not running for anything else I don't have to say <laughs> anything else Newark yes, mill. yes, it will. We've actually just put a good bit of capital into that mill, so we have uh, plans to run it for as long as you and I'll be around. Yeah, Batesville's represented over here. They weren't going to let anything happen to Batesville, right? <laughs> and uh, incentives, state and local, can you, do you guys have a breakdown on that? Yeah. The what? The incentives. Incentives. Oh, incentives, yeah. It's about four and a half million a CDBG total with both plants and then your normal performance-based incentives that, uh, that are based upon what are, whether or not uh, uh, how much money actually is in, ends up in the employment. Normal uh, performance-based incentives for all companies. Was there any DRA or local government? DRA? 231,000. 231,000 from the DRA. Yeah, there was local. Uh, where's the county judge? Where'd he go? Uh, how much? 700,000 locally. Randolph. And what about uh, Clay? Anybody? I'm right here. Yeah. There you are. There. Uh, like, what, 55 jobs, 50 jobs. In Clay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the mayors and the judges and the local economic developers have been. Uh, hard-working integral parts of all this and of course obviously AEDC and DRA uh, none of this stuff happens without a collective effort and uh, Mark and his team have been uh, real good to work with uh, so Mr. Hickman, what does the square footage for the three facilities? Okay, um, the processing plant is 255,000 square feet and the uh, hatchery is 73,000 square feet and I'm not sure about the feed mill because that's a different animal, you know, with all the equipment and everything, so. $165 million investment, right? Right. Have you, you done the permitting process for the wastewater permit? I'm sorry, the question Have is? Have you done the, wait, the permit process for the wastewater permit? We're, we're in the process of getting those permits. We have not received them as of this day. Okay. Thank you all. Good job. <laughs>